Hi Capricorn, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for March 2018 and Capricorn this month the family focus is really really real so it looks like there's some big decisions you're going to be making and i'm going to tell you right now it's best capricorn if you can make some of these decisions sign these big contracts before the ending of the month because we've got jupiter not only jupiter going retrograde but also mercury going retrograde as well and a mercury retrograde is no time to be signing the new contracts if you can avoid it having these brand new conversations if you can avoid it we'll talk about what that's good for in just a second. I want to talk about this Jupiter retrograde for you though. So when Jupiter retrogrades, we're going to reconnect, revise, re-edit, do any of these re-look over things. But with Jupiter for you, especially in this 11th house place, you could be stepping back, turning around and having maybe a friend come back into your world or a friendship or you're reviewing friendship. The good news I think here is that there's some wisdom being brought to the table, maybe some clarity, things like that. This is also the wisdom for you of being able to say, where do I want to align? Who do I want to be associated with? And you get to really go inside and figure that out. But for some of you Capricorns, I'm telling you, you could have a friend or someone who was a friend coming back into your life and maybe you're more prepared to handle, deal with that, have conversation around that. Forgiveness is a thing that we do during retrogrades and all of that good kind of stuff. And ultimately, you would forgive, forgive or reconnect with this person because they maybe have information that you need at this point in your journey as well. So it's a very spiritual kind of transaction. Now, as we get through this month, we have three moons, two, only two of which are full, and then we have one new moon. So let's jump in and start to talk about this. Right at the beginning of the month here on the 1st, we've got a full moon happening in the sign of Virgo at 11 degrees. This lights up your ninth house. So the full moon says something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So for you, you could have an ending to something in education. Your faith could be changing. Um, <clears throat> You could have a shift or a change to broadcasting something out in the world, a book, a novel, uh, any of those kinds of things. Travel, you could be ending your travel time and maybe you're coming to a time where you've got a little bit more steady, sturdy, home base kind of time. But whatever it is, it's trying to wrap something up so that something else can begin. You may be coming into a new educational season as well. But I really feel like this full moon more so than anything is really about wrapping up some old ideas of faith of what you've seen and believed to be the truth so that you can see a different truth coming forward now from the sixth really to the end of the month you've got mercury coming into aries venus coming into aries uranus is in aries the sun's going to move into aries we're also going to retrograde here in aries all of this capricorn lights up this fourth house space for you it's in critical view as a matter of fact so you could have a fair amount of home family real estate property Anything domestic happenings could be going on. People could be coming into your house. People could be leaving your house. Um, at the first part of the month, if you're wanting to sign a new contract to live someplace else, buy a new place, something like that, really try and sign that before the 22nd of the month if you can, if you can do that. Now, one of the other things I'm kind of thinking of <clears throat> with having Saturn in your sign around this fourth house space is it may be a time for you capricorn where you're looking around and saying i'd like my house i'd like my home and your home also includes your personal foundations the beliefs that you stand on the spirituality you stand on you may be looking to make these things more solid or to help them look differently right mercury is certainly going to be helpful here but the other part about it is that saturn is in your sign and this can increase our level of self-pity and selfishness so if you've been showing up in your home in a selfish way for one reason or the other or you've not been connecting well with the people in your house or something like that you're having to do something with someone connected to your home or your foundation it's a great time in the second half of the month at that retrograde to let this energy show you go back over revisit revise um 
reevaluate the way that you've been showing up so that you can release the energy of your home so that you can move forward. Now, I do think when we're talking about home, family, real estate, property, um, <clears throat> women in your life, your own foundations, things like that, this could be a time of year where you're certainly thinking about your mom, you're certainly thinking about your childhood, and you could also be thinking about other foundational things that have to do with home, like your budget, your decorating, your um, moral and spiritual feel of your home. All of these things will be under investigation this month. But before you make any big decisions, think about it, pray about it, and try and do it before the 22nd, okay? Now, when we get to the 8th, we've got Jupiter taking that retrograde here in the 11th house. You may be re-looking over the friends, bringing some wisdom to this zone. You know, is there resentment you need to let go of? Is there a reconnection for you with a friend that's just like, yeah, that's really cool? Are you back on track with a long-range goal that you had for a long time, and now you're seeing your way back to that path because it ultimately made you feel really fulfilled, right? It's a very social energy, so I like that. Now, an important date, I think, is the 14th of the month. Jupiter, who's over here in Scorpio in the 11th house, is coming into a semi-square with Saturn, who's over here in your first house. Now, this energy on the 14th says you have to restructure or reorganize in order to take advantage of the Jupiter energy. So you've got to restructure, reorganize, um, rethink yourself. Capricorn, this first house place, the way you're presenting yourself, who you are, all of these things, they've got to come into a more sound alignment, a more solid foundation so that you can take advantage of the friend groups. And the fact is, if you're not present, your friend group is going to dwindle. If you're not showing up, your friend group is going to dwindle. If you're not being honest about the things that you love and what you're into, you can't invite a new friendship group in. And this is a primary one that I think happens. <clears throat> we take this move from being single to being coupled up and then we still try and run with our single friends or we we are now parents and we're trying to run with our single friends or we're now single and we find i need a different flow maybe even deeper than that because you're very career oriented you know are you an accountant and you keep trying to you know run with your skater friends you know what i mean this is about you've got to restructure and see what you want where you're going what you're doing and how you'd like to be perceived so that you can really take advantage of the long-range goals the friends and the support over here that can give you the nourishment that you need. Now, on the 17th of the month, we've got this um, new moon happening at 26 degrees of Pisces, lighting up your third house. So communication is going to get a breath of fresh air. This is a great place for new beginnings, new thinking in your communication. As well, Mars is moving into Capricorn, so into your sign. You've got some gusto. You've got some go. You've got some movement, right? Use this Mars energy in your sign. What do you need to get done? What do you need to achieve? What do you need to push forward? What do you need to say right do you have some cleanup do you need to clean up something that you said to someone do you need to engage in conversation and let it be stimulating because those are the things we're going to work on for really the next four weeks so enjoy that energy but mars is on your side capricorn now on the 20th the sun comes into aries on the 22nd we've got mercury retrograding in aries so we're celebrating the astrological new year here and then we're flipping backwards Keep in mind, Capricorn, you're not the only one experiencing a Mercury retrograde. Other people are as well. So they may be trying to communicate with you and you feel like they're coming at you completely sideways or you just don't understand like what they're saying. Take a deep breath. Everybody is pointed backwards right now. So we're going to bonk into each other. Let's treat each other with a little bit of grace during this retrograde, okay? Now, as we end this month on the 31st, we've got a full moon. The next full moon we've got this month happening in Libra. This is lighting up your 10th house space. So something in your career, in your calling, maybe even a hobby that you've been doing may be coming to an end. You may be bringing it to culmination. Now, it could be ending like, okay, I'm just, I'm investing too much in this and I'm not getting what I want out of it. I don't feel good about it. Um, and you're ready to let it go. Or you may just see an adjustment. Oh, I need to do this. Yes, I have this project I love, but I really need to write that book. Yes, I have this thing that I love, but I need to be willing to take risks to get bigger with it. Whatever it is, this full moon is going to seek to bring some harmony, going to try and align you with the best possible relationships and end the relationships that are not strong to supporting what you're trying to achieve. It's really a gorgeous full moon. So take full advantage of that. And of course, watch my full moon video when it's up, okay? 
All right, Capricorns, I think it's going to be a great month. Keep me posted on what's going home, going home at on. <laughs> Keep me posted about what's going on at home, including the home that lives right here. I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month.